It's the Jay Tay Show. 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 All right, good evening, good evening, and welcome to the Jay Tay Show. Hey, welcome to the Jay Tay Show. Welcome in. Thank you so much for joining us. Right now is the time to like and share. Now is the time to like and share. So please, if you would, find our link on Facebook and like and share, please. Please, please. like and share. All right. We have some great things planned for you this evening. We have been looking forward to getting the show started back. And so now that we're back, let's roll with it. Hey, hey, let's roll with it. All right, I found it on Facebook already. I am sharing. And also, if you have not found, liked, and shared our J Tay Show page on Facebook, please, 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 please join us there. All right, and if you will, again, please like and share. If you want to join us on Zoom, you're more than welcome. I'm watching to see if anyone enters so that you can sit in the audience. And then if you do want to interact at some point, we will uh, open up the room so that you can come and talk to us. All right, because we have, again, some amazing things planned for you. So grateful for this opportunity to be here. We are currently in the process of sharing, or I'm sharing. I don't, I'm I don't think. Too. Oh, you can. I didn't know you could. If you, if you could or not. Okay. Well, thank God. All right, and I'm going to upload this onto you. Fix it up a little bit and upload it to YouTube after this is over. And there are a few little extra things that I'm going to add to it. So. You definitely want to ensure that you check it out again on YouTube for the extras. All right. Extras. Well, Shantae, how was your day today? It was well. Sunday. I, I actually missed Sunday school this morning. What? You? I did. Now, you know, I can't believe that. I did. I went to um, visit another church this morning. Oh, um, well, okay. So I missed Sunday school. I didn't get to church early like I normally do. I didn't get there to right at the time the church started. So. Oh, my goodness. Well, had you already cleaned the church? <laughs> well, I spruced it up yesterday when I okay. was there, so okay. it wasn't bad. Okay. So, Because I, I knew it was going to be a crazy morning. And I didn't get up earlier than I should have. So I'll definitely have my work cut out next week. Uh-oh. How was your Sunday? Today has been a really blessed day. I actually missed Sunday school too. And the sad part is I called myself getting up in time. And by the time I walked out of the house, it was almost time for Sunday school. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. I know. I don't know. It just seemed like I was the moving slow this morning. Is that you have a book and you can study. That's and right. The word is still the same, whether you made it to Sunday school or not. That's you right. You have all week to study. That's right. I mean, you, you know, the, the studying is not the just thing. the interaction. It was to, to actually actually get there. To, uh, well, I don't always share what we've studied, you know, because we, because of the time, we only get 30 minutes for Sunday school. And so, uh, normally by the time it's over, I'm, you know, unless it's just one of those lessons where something just really, really stood out, then I'll share. But other than that, just to, just to make sure that I'm there. Okay. All right. I have shared, shared, shared. And so I'm ready to roll with it. If you are. I've shared it on my page too. All right. All right. Well, this again is the JT show. We've done our introduction. And so welcome this evening. Say it again, Shantae. <laughs> say welcome again uh -huh. we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm sorry we're going to rewind it and say it again because I'm not going to well I may use what we you had all oh God, what all we said welcome to the JT show <laughs> before now as a blooper or something but alright this will be our official start for the YouTube video so welcome to the JT show 
Thank you so much for joining us. We're live on Facebook. We're here in the Zoom room. Again, if you see this on Facebook and you want to join us in the Zoom room, you're more than welcome. All right. Well, we want to share with you that this show, we plan to go live. We were a few minutes late trying to work out some technical difficulties today, but we want to be on time. We were in place and ready. Uh, we're just trying to work out again, technical difficulties at 7.30. So Sundays at 7.30 p.m. Be ready to join us Get for the snack. JJ show. Get oh, your yeah. blanket. Get well, all nice and cozy with us. Yes. Okay. We don't have the fireside chat right now. We're sitting in the room and because we are up and we are uh, vibrant and, and this wonderful room just creates the ambience that we we want to share today. All right, so uh, the JT Show airs on Facebook Live, and then we will, again, put it on YouTube and forward it to every other place that we are on yeah. uh, for our personal pages as well. So stay on the lookout. All right, so today uh, we thought that the first show should be an introductory show where you get to know your host. Uh, we have shared a lot of things over the years. In fact, Shantae is going through and trying to find our old JT show so that we can uh, do some things with them. And as she was listening to it, I was just tickled at some of the things that we were saying and doing on those lives. No. And <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just, it, you know, as I listened, it really blessed me because I just, I heard us pursuing our dreams and goals. And did you notice how when I looked over it, it actually looks at you on the screen? Yeah, but I'm trying. Oh, <laughs> I'm so dizzy. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that, that just blessed me because uh, it showed that we were, we are, well, we were then, and now we are again, moving forward with dreams and goals that we have set. And hearing the camaraderie, hearing the laughter, it was, the laughter in itself was enough. I took some screenshots. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Pictures and, and voice. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Uh-oh. So, y'all, just <laughs> stay tuned, okay? Stay tuned and I do want to say, you know, that, that as I think about these shows, that we're doing what we can with it. And one day I look forward to having production team in place to help us really maximize this time and maximize this effort. Because I do believe, as I figured, you know, we hadn't really just talked about that side of marketing, but uh, one of our slides that I've created says conversations about life mm -hmm. and of course we have so much that we can share from our own perspectives and experiences in life and so that's what we're here to do on the JT show and just to share with you hear from you and but today our main goal is to share and so we have three questions that we'll be asking each other and I I'm sure it was two I think the final agreement was three but the thing about the three, and just so you all are aware, we say, we're we saying three questions, but as we ask the one question, it may roll into additional questions. So don't just hold us to three uh, because, you know, okay, because I, I believe in interviewing. And so if I'm getting to know the host and she said she, her answer leads me in another direction as I'm listening, I'm going to ask that too. All right. So, well, Shante, you want to start out? No, you go first. Oh, Tay of the J. Tay Show, you want me to go first. Okay. It's the J. Tay Show! Okay. Well, my first question is, now, after, I don't even, first and foremost, the, the okay, let me lay out a couple questions. How many years has it been since you've been in college and how does it feel to be back now? Uh, I think I stopped college in 2008. I graduated in 2007 and went back to college immediately. And then um, I stopped in 2008. 
Okay. And um, it it feels good. It's a little um, had me on edge a lot of the times because you never know what the professor is going to do yeah. or make us do. And not been in school for so long, so much, so many things have changed. Mm-hmm. And you know, just making sure I remember some of the stuff I was actually taught in high school because. It's, it does come back. You don't think it does, but it actually does come back. So okay. it feels good. And, you know, day by day, minute by minute and second by second. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, you're up. Um, I, I'm going to ask the same question since I only had two for pictures. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that'll be your third. Okay. Okay. Sure, what? What, what a way to work that out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, you kind of know the answer, but for the live audience, uh, my thought is about being back in school uh, before I started in the fall semester of 2022. It had been right at 20 years since I'd been in uh, college, because when I graduated from high school uh, in 2000, I went for two years at Angelina College. However, although I was committed to our show choir and choir, uh, most of my other classes, I wasn't. Uh, there, I showed up to a lot of things, but I just wasn't as committed. And my mind was on other things at that age. Uh-huh. And so, uh-huh. And so 2002 is the last time I was in college. And so to be back now, uh, really is a blessing that I do not take lightly. I'm enjoying my classes. I've pretty much enjoyed every class that I've had except for my math class and currently my U.S. history class. Although I'm learning some things that I didn't realize about American history uh, and my eyes are being open to some things, uh, I'm still looking forward to this class being over. And so I'm just I'm just glad to be back in school. And, and the last thing I'll say, because, you know, I won Comes Got Talent this past yes. week, uh, is that now I have more confidence than I did at that age. Even though I was in the show choir, I was dancing and things. Uh, it's some moments that I can vividly remember uh, where I did not have the dance down. I got my big self up there. And I was just so embarrassed. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have gotten up there, but it would have counted off my grade. So I just got on up and did what I did. And I, I know somebody has to have a video somewhere. I don't want to see it, but <laughs> oh, girl, I can. Oh, I tell you what, we would sure get a good laugh. I tell you that. But to have this this time, even though um, one of the things I was thinking, I shouldn't even get up here. Ed Combs got talent against these young people, mm-hmm. um, you sure but I it wasn't. But it, the thing was, I wouldn't have done that at that age. I don't think. And to have the confidence or, or the desire, just the desire to do it at this age um, and stage of my life, meant something. Yeah. Okay. That was good, Jay. Thank you. I tried you know, to go I'm deeper. Going back to school because you inspired me. Even after being out of school, I, I'm a school teacher, and it's weird to say that I don't like school, being a school teacher. So after all those years, you I'm, don't like being the student. I don't like being a student, but you like, I being, like being a teacher. Being a teacher. Mm-hmm. Now, <laughs> getting off work and getting 15 minutes from work to school, you got to switch from being the boss to being <laughs> mm-hmm. the student. So yeah. it's it's, yeah. it's Think. What a change. Oh, God. 15 minutes. <laughs> All right, my next question okay. is uh, if you could be anywhere right now, you're 42, right? 41. 41. Sorry, I'm adding, I'm adding an age to you. All right, bring it on. If, at 41, if you could be anywhere in life, where would you be? Well, right now would be in New Orleans getting ready for the cruise tomorrow. Okay, other than. <laughs> Okay. Other than New Orleans, you okay. know why? You know we we know you want to physically be there, That's but right. as of right now. Okay, so you mean as in your life? Okay. Well, you know, I'm 
pursuing a certain path now and uh, I it would have been nice because had I continued if if I would have had the mindset especially having all A's now you know I didn't have all A's when I was a teenager in college and so I would have wanted to pretty much handle my classes and things like I'm handling them that now uh, to stay on that path then so that I'd already be Dr. Bass now. All right. It's okay, so it's my turn. Okay. <laughs> I thought, I'm just thinking, okay, would you, were you going to follow up that with some of that? So I just wait. No, okay. Okay. You sure? Okay. All right. So I'm going to follow up. Just because that was a good question, I want to follow up with that particular question. If if you're thinking of, I'm going to change it a little bit. Imagining you at 34, at this juncture of your life, where would you like to be? If if you if you could change things and be where you want to be, okay. Um, I would already have my degree. Okay. Um. I would go back and uh, I'm listening. I would go back because I have my director's license already, mm -hmm. but I would pursue more with my director's license because mm -hmm. once I got it, I didn't do anything with it. Literally, I did nothing. Okay. Um. So I just kept working in daycare, but to actually be a director and the owner of a daycare that's always been a dream. Mm -hmm. Um. Even though I love teaching because in daycare, you don't get holidays and summer breaks and spring break and all of that. Mm -hmm. I would still want to pursue my daycare because that's where my foundation started. I've been doing daycare since I was literally in high school. Wow. So I've always worked with kids. So Okay. So that's how you were uh, able to see a student yesterday mm -hmm. and she would, she be, y'all ages were so close because you were in high school doing it. Okay. That so when you're in high school, you can take like a class or so and then leave and go work at a daycare. So when wow. I graduated high school, I got hired at the daycare where I was working at when I was in high school. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's interesting. That, and see, you know, just doing things like that in high school, a lot of times we do not recognize the resources that are available to us. And that is an amazing resource. Even, even as we're at the same college now, and I'm a part of the mm for e uh, which is the Minority Men for Excellence. As they share with us the resources that are available through the college, I'm like, man, it is really literally no reason for mm -hmm. any student to fail. Mm-hmm. Especially, you know, the tutoring center, you have mm -hmm. so many, you have small groups. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't drink coffee, but one, the my 4 p.m. class, they all get together at Starbucks oh. and they go and drink coffee and, you know, talk about the class. I don't do that. Well, you know, we don't want no coffee. coffee. Yeah, mm -hmm. don't Neither one of them. So I just rather go to the tutoring center. So like mm -hmm. you said, there's so many resources for anybody to go back. And I actually encourage anybody to go back. It's, it's worth it. I, I believe it's worth it. And the thing about it I, that that I actually love about a community college is, for the most part, it doesn't matter where you've been, what you've done, how messed up your previous record is. If you are willing to try again, they are willing to work with you. And I am so grateful because, you know, someone may say that sharing the all A's and the president's list is is bragging or something like that. But you have to understand where I came from and the grades I had and the, you know, just like we talked about at church and the uh, re re revealing of things of skipping school and almost didn't graduate high school. And my high school record is actually, it's a little better than I thought it was, but still it's not, what I know 
I'm capable of and what I have proven that I'm able to do now. And so the thing about being able to go back is you can do it. Yeah. That's what I, that's all I just said that to share that it is my firm belief that you can do it. And not only that, when you're in class with strangers, mm -hmm. everybody is in there with the same mindset. Mm -hmm. As for in high school, you know, it's just, you're supposed to be there with the same mind frame, but we're not. You know we're not. But no. in college, you're thinking, okay, I'm paying for this out of pocket. Right, or I right. Or I'm getting a grant or a loan that I'm going to have to eventually pay back or something like that. You're not going in there to play. Like, everybody in there is going in there for the same exact thing. Everybody's not going to cool in there. Mm -hmm. No, There's no big eye little use in there. And you know what? I feel like uh, when, when you said that, the thought is that there are those that are just coming out of high school who are there with us as well. Mm -hmm. And they might have that same mindset that we had. Uh, and so, you know, it being some of the older ones in class, I think it's just a blessing to be able to inspire like my music classes and all the music majors that are in the classes are all college age. But on that same line, I find it refreshing to see their yearning to learn their music and their excitement about music as we do our little projects and say our little things and, you know, sh uh, sing and, and play is just, it's, it's exciting. It, you know, sometimes I have to just make myself be quiet because mm -hmm. I'm the oldest and I don't want them just thinking I'm just, I'm, you know, that I'm trying to be the teacher's pet or something, but I'm, I am enjoying my music classes. And so to be getting this new information, and you know, I've been doing this for so long that now to be gaining new information and, and seeing their excitement and being in that excitement really makes a difference. And that's crazy because my night class, I'm the youngest. Uh-oh. Everybody else is, is quite older. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> quite, quite older. <laughs> And so for sure in that class, you know that they are there to handle business. Yep. Mm -hmm. you, and you know what? When I get there, they're already there. They already set up and I'm coming in just the last one. Most of the time, I'm the last one. Um, but most of them have also been at the college, you know, previous times since it started at seven o'clock. So, mm -hmm. you know, they're already ready. And I'm just coming in, just rolling in. And they're looking at me like, hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. And I sit in the back, in the corner. They leave that seat open for me. So they know I'm going to go sit back there in the back. No, I never. <laughs> You're supposed to be sitting up front, ready to get your lesson. Because <laughs> uh, he, he calls on, he don't call on. Oh, you get called on yeah. in the back? Mm. He's, he don't, it don't matter when you sit on the seat. <laughs> That's it. If you're in the room, Mom, don't sit like this. He ain't going to say it. Can you hear me? We can hear you. <laughs> Put my hand down. Uh oh. All right. For my last question. Okay. Everyone knows you as an organist and a songwriter and a minister of music. You're well known for that. Um, an AP, you sing in these groups and yada, yada, yada. Okay. You have your own group. They are not mine. What else could you tell the world? Who is Jay Bass outside of sitting on that bench behind the organ, um, behind from behind the choir? What else is Jay Bass? Who is Jay Bass? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's a good question. Huh? Wow, I didn't think you were gonna stop me with your questions. I call myself being ready for you tonight, but okay, wow, that is a really good question. I might have to come back to that one. I can answer that for you, so you should be able to answer it. You know who you are. Who are you outside of your music? I would like to hear your answer. Maybe that'll get me in the direction yeah. I need to be going. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Actor, comedian, minister. Uh, Producer, um, director, I guess that kind of goes with music, but okay. Comedian, okay, we'll take that. 
<laughs> yeah, I it's looking at some of those clips. <laughs> Y'all, this is one clip. Oh, he had pulled his arm back and his sleeve and was oh, <laughs> short his arm. And oh. I mean, I was just looking at him and he was just so tickled. So yeah, he definitely a little comedian all by himself. Mm -hmm. So that's who you are. You an actor. So Oh, that was three questions, huh? But anyway. Go ahead. If the door ever closes for music, what's next? Why would the door close for music? I said, if the door ever closes for music, what's next? I don't see anything else if music... I don't see me stopping music for any reason. Even, even if, for some reason, I stop playing for a church or serving as the minister of music at a church because of a secular job. And the only thing I could think of, uh, but even what I would do in a secular arena would be uh, something like a middle school or high school teacher. Be uh, careful what you ask for. Well, yeah, because I think about some of the educational right. things that you have to do and I the certifications and all of that. Um, uh, so maybe, but even, even still, again, if I wasn't a minister of music, I still would be in music because I like to be traveling doing music. And so it's, that's a, a good question to consider what else I would be doing, uh, because I do like doing, uh, hosting type thing uh i would love to be to do more public speaking i still want to do that even even uh now i like to go and talk at high schools and colleges and different venues uh definitely want to do a ted talk and those kind of things but that's that, you really have have hit me with that one because music is is just such a big part of my life that i don't really want to do anything else and if I do anything else, I still see myself working in music. Okay. okay. So my final question for you is, when you look at your life and the things that you've been through and the fact that you that, that none of it because you know I, I, I think on this level often that none of the things that you've been through have hindered you from making it to a moment like this you made it here safely you have your health and strength you have the activity of your limbs you have transportation you have a roof over your head you're in school you're teaching school Looking at that, what your life coach? Because we're part of part of me saying that too, y'all. Just so you are clear, we're gonna start implementing our life coaching into these broadcasts. And so, okay, considering all of that and where you are in your life, what is it that you would say to? another young lady who has a similar testimony as yours um, and she feels like she's done too much wrong you know she may have messed up in college too she, and whatever else that you feel like is a low point of your life that may have at that point uh, caused you to look at yourself in a negative way or whatever now that you made it here and you realize you overcame that what do you have to say to her or him. Um, I would say wake up every day, look yourself in the mirror, and say you can do it. Um, don't dwell in on the negative or think about or let it take control over your mind. Um, because although sometimes we could go on with life but mentally we're stuck in a place mm -hmm. we're stuck thinking about a thing um don't let it control you just go after it be yourself and just pursue 
do it. Just do it. I mean, there's no other way to say it other than to just do it. Whether you fall, because one thing you can say is at least you tried. At yes. least you did it. Because I heard something that say, we give the enemy, wait, I don't want to quote this wrong. It was something of the fact of, Like if we don't do it, we give the enemy room or we 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 make the enemy think he's won if we don't just go after it. Like we don't feed into the enemy. If you just go after it, then I guarantee you God will give you the strength and the knowledge and whatever else you need to just do it. Okay. Okay. So just do it because you can just go through it. it. You can get through it. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, mine is similar because just realizing, and I know that you didn't ask me the question. But, yes, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, realizing that none of that stopped me. And, you know, when you suffer with low self-esteem and so much depression and suicidal thoughts, it just looks so final in that moment. And so when you get past that moment and you realize, I survived that. That's that that in itself should give you the strength to just really get up and go go get it because nothing nothing that we go through nothing nothing or nothing that we've been through has hindered us from making it to this moment and still you know even even thinking about not going on this cruise even though dialysis is the reason uh there's not much else that i'm i'm hindered from doing i was hindered from doing that and it hurt but there's m so much more that this week i can do i don't have to miss class you know i that was to be honest that was a big concern of mine this entire time that i'm going to be missing my classes and i just you know paying out of pocket like we were talking about I didn't want to miss class. So I get a chance to go to all of my classes. And so I just thank God that we made it. I really do. All right. We are coming to the end of our show. Shante, we've had a good show for our first episode back. Okay. Welcome back, y'all. All right. So closing out. Closing out, we want to share a few announcements with you. So what we'll do, Shante, I'll share one and then you share one. Okay. Okay. Do you have your list? On my phone. <laughs> See, that's the only thing about you being on Zoom on your phone. You should have put the list yeah. on your, your tablet. Okay. Okay, I, I have the list, so I can... Don't You don't have to do that, because now you're phasing in and out. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. It's the JT Show! All right, so the first thing on the list, hey, I said the first thing on the list the is, first, is that the first one I thought I had on? Did you not I didn't have another one. I thought I did. Okay, well, oh, well, this, we, this is a J-Bass jingle. Okay. Yes, well, and the sad part about it is I still have not gotten my sister a basket. I, I need to try to go do that today. But we have a basket winner of the T-Lock Fall Basket. And so we want to shout out uh, Mrs. Angela Wooten. She wanted to uh, one-up my mom, Wilma Bass, uh, on her ticket sales, and it paid off. We want to thank you and everyone who supported our Fall Basket because we're getting ready for November. And so... We decided tonight, just letting you in on it, and this is another announcement, but I'm going to go on to talk about it since I'm talking about the baskets, is instead of us trying to buy the items for the November ba Thanksgiving basket, we're going to get two $50 gift cards. They will be one package. There will only be one winner. And so you would get a hundred dollars worth of uh, gift card so that you can go get your own food because you know what you and your family like. And so we don't want, you know, just the thought of trying that because if it was my hundred dollar gift card, I might even put in some money on this because 
Uh, I want to make sure we have some collard greens. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you for the collard greens. I thank you so much for the dressing. I thank you for the eggs that we will need. I thank you for the turkey and the, the ham that we would, well, I don't want the ham, but the turkey and the hen that we will need. What else? The hen? The hen. Oh, you like hen? Oh, yeah. I, I'm trying to think if, I think they put chicken in the uh, chicken and dressing, but I think sometimes Mama and, Mama and Ari and Erica have used uh, hen. Mm -hmm. And so then also the candied yams. See, I don't have to have much for my greens and cabbage mix. I'm trying to go down my Thanksgiving. Uh, Shanti, I'm getting off because you know I talk about my my drip, my um your food. My food. Yeah. But I think I've kind of almost because I like chicken and dressing on Thanksgiving, greens and cabbage, uh, candied yams, and I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, potato salad, turkey. So I'm I actually would stay within my hundred dollars for Thanksgiving, uh, maybe because you have to get so much to feed the family. But what would you do with your hundred dollars? I'm having another question. For Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. what Thanksgiving what kind of Thanksgiving food do you like? Macaroni and cheese. I could just eat a whole plate of macaroni and cheese, honestly. I mean, really? I like greens and cabbage, of course, but I'm just kind of a starchy type. Either. Really? Yeah. Wow. I don't like turkey in my dressing. I'm not gonna eat. Really? Turkey. I probably won't have no meat for Thanksgiving. No turkey? No. I don't like turkey like that. Wow. It's turkey and dressing, not chicken and dressing, but okay. Why? It's it's um, like it's not like chicken. Don't say it's like chicken. It is. And turkey. I mean they're all different, but it's wow. What about duck? Not a duck. What? Okay. Uh, just, just some macaroni and cheese, and not maybe a little dressing with some cranberry sauce. Mm -hmm. Um, but no meat. Kind of no, I don't want no meat. Maybe some rice and gravy. But, what? Yeah. You say it's starch. Just to have Thanksgiving food, rather like. Excuse me. Yeah, I've oh. never been a big person on dressing. What? Yeah, not it was gumbo. I want some gumbo. Really? Yeah. On Thanksgiving? Wow. Okay. That's what I like. That's what I want. So do you like giblet gravy on your on no. your dressing? No. I don't like giblet gravy. I don't want those gizzards in my food. No. <laughs> no. And my grandma used to, oh my God. Uh oh. <laughs> my grandma would make my own side dishes because I don't like onions and bell peppers and all that. And she would make my own dressing and my own little gumbo, anything separate, just because she knew I didn't like that stuff. You talk about spoiled. Oh my God. Lord have mercy. And grandmother like feeding grandma. into it. <laughs> Lord have mercy. We see. <laughs> That's no oh. Mm, mm, mm. Um, the next announcement <clears throat> I'm going to move on to prison ministries okay guys we are so I need to get with Mr. Albert Yancey and we will set up a time to do a zoom or a live or something to get everyone registered or trained I'm sorry to go into the prison I know people say I don't want to go into a prison I'm scared and all this and all that y'all I'm going to be real honest with you. Prison ministry is life changing. It is. And it really is. I love church, mm -hmm. but if I can go to the prison yes. every week, I would. Yes. Because the atmosphere is different. It's so they, different. Yes, yeah, so different. They are um, there to worship. They're, you know, nobody cares about what you have on, your money. None of that matters in there. It's literally just you and God. Like you could just get your breakthrough in prison, I'm telling you. Um, so we want as many of you to join us as possible. Um, that would love to, even if you just go once, just to check it out, you know. <clears throat> I guarantee you you'll want to go back. Go back. Yeah. Um, yeah. there are a few things coming up very soon in December in the first of the year at the prison. So we're going to try to get a Zoom training set up very, very, very soon um, with Albert to see about getting everybody trained. If you want to get trained, just inboxes or texts us and we will get you on the list. 
All right. Well, the next thing I have on the list is True Laborers of Christ. All right. A T-Lock is who I am. And so we had, I, y'all, there were only four or five of us at T-Lock rehearsal yesterday, but the freedom of the move of God and just, just the, the camaraderie, the, the, the harmony, I was just so blessed to be at rehearsal yesterday and I'm going to be honest that T-Lock has kind of been a been a huge part of my prayer life because first and foremost, I've had visions of it being so much bigger than what it is. And so to kind of have to deal with uh, the lack of communication at times and the lack of attendance and uh, what looks like people are not interested in being, you know, Chantel was saying something before about the ministries that we're involved in. And she mentioned a couple of ministries with t -Lock, but there are not many groups or names of a ministry that you can actually literally apply to your life. Like I can say, I am a T lock. I am a true laborer of Christ because when I break down that that name, laborer is what gives me the ability to say that I am that because I am a worker, and so because I am, you know, it takes on a new meaning. And there have been many times as the uh, founding uh, director of the choir. Many times, I because of the lack of communication and, and attendance and just the, the lack of interest that I see sometimes, I've wanted to give up on the on, on true labors of Christ. However, not only have I prayed Matthew 9, Matthew 9, verses 37 and 38, uh, that God would send forth laborers. One of the things in my uh, life application study Bible that says, when you pray that prayer, just realize that he's going to he's going to send you too. And so that I'm included when I pray that God will send forth his laborers. I'm praying that he'll send me forth to be used in his vineyard. And so being a true labor of Christ is that's a lifelong commitment. And so I can't lay it down. It, it even even as we have celebrated our 20 year anniversary and and now we're we're looking at T lock after 20. I can't give it up because people aren't showing up because I am a T lock and we will be T lock until we die. And so and so uh, we want to just let you all know after such a rehearsal yesterday, you are welcome to join us. We meet primarily on the third Saturday. We've been kind of meeting on the fourth Saturday for a little bit here uh, just because of scheduling reasons. But either the third or fourth Saturday of each month, we're meeting at New Vision Church located in Dickinson, Texas, 2311 24th Street, 77539, where our pastor is none other than Reverend soon to be doctor, I'm believing it, C.L. Yancey Sr., and we're so thankful to them and to our pastor and our church family for allowing us to utilize our church to meet there. It is truly a blessing to have a home for T-Lock yeah. to meet um, on those third or fourth Saturdays. And now uh, we have been in communication with Pastor Brian Denman of the Greater Harvest Baptist Church in Houston, Texas on Reed Road. I don't know the address like that. But... Uh, he is truly blessing community choirs and opening his doors to allow us to come in to rehearse. And so we're looking at third Mondays to meet at Greater Harvest in Houston for those of you who are in Houston and want to be a part of this ministry. Uh, although we live in Galveston County, uh, if you're in Houston and you want to come, I I have class, I think I get out at 
uh, 3 320 on Mondays. And so if I need to go to if I need to drive into Houston early to make sure that you have a ride to get to rehearsal is better than us driving all the way from Galveston County and no one from Houston showing up because we're doing this to accommodate and to uh, offer another opportunity for those of you who are in Houston. Be the day Monday night. Oh, well, we sure enough have to make sure before I drive up there by myself <laughs> that somebody else is going to show up. This is if you're not a singer, if you offer graphic designs or you take pictures or you know how to do something behind the scenes, um, we need help with everything. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't, there's no, you have to be a singer to come to t -Lock. That's so right. you're any place that you can be used in a ministry, I'm sure you can be used in true labors of Christ. That's right. So it's open to any and everybody. You're welcome. 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 All right. Now, finally, the last thing that I have in my notes is that on next Sunday, November the 5th, during our next JT show, we will take a few minutes to resume our conversations about the book Crushing Crush by it. Bishop T.D. Jake. Okay, my book is not right here. It, it had been here for the longest. But we are, we are picking that back up. We're going to start completely over. The, one of the videos she had taken found was uh, us talking about the book and we were laughing and going on in uh, just because we I, when we get on here we do want to enjoy we'll, we will talk about some serious things but for the most part we want to at least at some point in, in offer an encouraging word as well as some laughter mm -hmm. all right and so if you do not have the book crushing um uh, Get your copy this week because next Sunday during this very live broadcast, we will uh, share our notes it's from chapter Kindle one. Too. If you don't have to get the hard copy, you can get the audible, audible book. The is audio that, book? Is that the right way to say it? It's audible too, but okay. audio book. Yeah, my words. Is, <laughs> and I'm English class. All right. Y'all, I'm trying to get better. I've gotten a little bit better. Okay. Perhaps can't say that. Go on, sister. Yes. All right. Well, all right. Thank you all. We have actually gone over our time. We said that we would do anywhere from 30 minutes to 45 minutes, but I kind of figured once we got on here and got to talking that it would go over. We have finished our agenda for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Good night. It's the JK Show. It's the J show. It's the J show. It's the J show.